So we've entered a new era of live software. Um, Adobe Photoshop wants me to update it all the time to the latest uh, in a system or a, or a world where you're all constantly updating to the latest software. I think it's very important for companies to create unit tests and have a QA process to catch bugs before they make it out to the public. Uh, I've been a Photoshop user since 4.0. I mean, I used to install a ton of floppy disks. Um, some of these core features are breaking or changing. And because I work in software, I mean, I can understand that it might be happening with the best intentions, but you got to talk to the users. Some of these things, I just can't believe they actually made it out. Um, like the most egregious, I'd say, is the move tool changes. So let's say that I have drawn something, um, or it's text, or anything with a transparency. Uh, I grab the move tool, I want to move it. It doesn't move. This boggled my mind. I was completely baffled. Um, I looked on the forums, forums.adobe.com. And there are other people having the same problem. Like, what happened? How come I cannot move things? Then, all of a sudden, I was able to move something. And it was, I was like, well, wait, why did it move then? And I came to the realization that someone thought it would be a good idea that you can only move non-transparent pixels. So, now the layer moves. Like, the layer is selected. I want to move this layer. Can't move it. So if I were to zoom in to the very pixel, I can move it. But if I'm off by it's that that's just um, that kind of boggles the mind. The the other interesting thing was if I have another layer. I had a scene with multiple layers, and in that scene, I had you know some some other layer. I can move that. Well, when I select layer one, that's the X. I want to move layer one. I click, wait, it moved layer two. As you can see, no matter what your selection is, just by clicking, it does like a ray cast down the first non transparent pixel. It drops your selection, selects the other item. So look over in the layer stack over here. Boom! It just switches to layer two. It used to be that you needed to right click and select. Now, transparent stuff doesn't even show up as being behind. Like, there's not even a layer behind. So, I can't even, I mean, it's one pixel. There we go. I got it. Okay, now I can select layer one, but I can't move layer one. It's just that that's, that's ridiculous. It's mind boggling. Um, I think they should have caught this in QA. Uh, I can understand that it's a new feature. Someone thought, like, hey, usually you're going to want to be moving uh, that's not even an excuse i mean this this with text with everything i mean this is just this is just a nightmare so let's take a look at transformation tools like scale um in a lot of situations i want to do a non-uniform scale okay uniform so you know somebody was maybe trying to be helpful and thought well you know most of the time you're in photoshop you're using scanned photos or something which is not really valid but let's have this turned on by default so this is maintain aspect ratio so right now it's maintaining aspect ratio it used to require a key modifier or clicking this to do that but let's just click it off and I'll scale wait I just disabled maintain aspect ratio it's off and it's still maintaining aspect ratio I mean these are just bugs that if there was clear unit tests or QA they would get caught before this stuff went out the door um, you know Photoshop has always been rock solid for me it's it's just kind of depressing to see changes like this or whether it's a feature or a bug um, you guys really need to to fix this stuff as fast as possible and make sure that it doesn't happen in the future um, I'm totally fine with new workflows uh, but when it's a new workflow that is just significantly worse than the pre-existing workflow that had been around for 20 years, it's super frustrating. It's very, very frustrating.